So in the last video we got to this stage where um, we've got the coin count in the top corner but it keeps disappearing, it, it moves around with the rest of the background. So this video is about using layers to have a fixed um, position on the screen for some elements. So typically it would be for things like lives, scores or any other information you want constantly visible to the player. So somewhere on your screen you should be able to find a layers tab. Um, often it's here next to layers. Uh, you might need to just go into view and make sure that you've got the layer bar ticked. So in my layers I've got layer 0 which is my main layer here. I'm going to add a new layer, layer 1. I'm going to rename it. I'm going to rename it HUD uh, for head up display. It doesn't matter what you call it so long as it's something that's obvious and recognizable. Now what this has done is created a layer which is above the current layer and is uh, transparent. So it's quite a useful concept to be able to think of having multiple layers available on your screen uh, which are kind of stacked on top of each other you can see through. It's useful for doing if you want to put an effect on um, that it doesn't apply to one layer but does apply to another. We tend to use it just for this though, just for having a head up display. Now the critical thing is that uh, we've got this parallax and I, I'm on the head up display the parallax 100 100 that's how much things move as we go along. Parallax is a kind of mathematical trigonometry term. Um, astronomy really, you see more parallax. All we need to know is that when we put 0, 0 it means that that layer doesn't move when everything else does move. Uh, now there's nothing on that layer at the moment but if I click on this object here, my text coin count, I can change the layer on which it appears. And when I hit play I've now got that 0 there and it's staying in the same place as I move around the screen collecting coins and so on. Okay, that was the point of using layers. But do note, of course, uh, this can go horribly wrong because if you put um, objects on layers without thinking carefully about uh, which layer you've put them onto, um, it can be very confusing with things not behaving at all how you would expect them to. So expect to see that bug if you're not careful about which layer you put your objects onto.